All right, DZ and Justin here, and we have three of the hottest drops dropping on Cardano in April. These, I think, are going to explode. Yeah, and I think the common denominator on these drops we're about to talk about is the art. art. The yeah. art is absolutely phenomenal. I know a lot of times in the Cardano space, you might have a project that's got, I don't know, every every other avatar has the same flannel shirt or the piece of wheat coming out of their mouth. Not these. This art is phenomenal, very well balanced. It looks amazing. But uh, yeah, this is 6,666. I like that it's a lower number. It's not 10,000. It's not 9,000, not 8,000. 6,000 and some change. Launching on the 23rd, we have Non-Fungible Devils, and they just released this art, and this is looking nuts. I put out a tweet yesterday. What do I need to talk about? The comments were just, the replies were nuts with this stuff, and uh, a lot of people are actually sharing Who is this, this character? Uh, Nicholas Cage, yeah, right? Yeah, is that Nick Cage? I think it's Nick Cage. The movie with the bees. Oh, not the bees! Not the bees! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, really, really good. You know, we're joking around, but this art really is absolutely nuts. I mean, the fire is Look phenomenal. That, the chain it, is phenomenal. I'm the, blown away. The light texture on the leather jacket is phenomenal. Uh, these one of ones are pretty crazy, and uh, look at some of these skins. Look at that diamond gold skin. skin. Gold, that's what you want. You want the gold skin, the diamond skin, all, the red skin. All that stuff is is crazy. I like how they all kind of look rare. Uh, here's another, another tease one. of a one of one. I, I feel uh, dun, 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 dun. Uh -huh. seen a little. I've seen a little Star Wars action there. Uh, all right, now we're kind of looking at some of the more normal looking ones, and they this still one, look good. This one's from that movie. Uh, is it Powder? I think is what it, what he came from. Yeah, uh, uh, don't run into any field when there's a thunderstorm. Okay, we're <laughs> warning you. We're warning you. But yeah, the the red skin. I mean, the skin base, the base looks good. You know, yeah. I like I like how strong they got a little base, tail. very strong. Uh, base. You see some horns. Some horns are shorn. Uh, we have a shorn horn here. Uh, so yeah, check this one out. Look, you can see it zoomed in. It still looks good. The eyeball, the ah, skin, Lee, the dude, texture. You don't see quality like that. You can real. see. I, I don't know how good your screen is at home, but you can see the texture of this hat. Yeah. So, zoomed in ones still look phenomenal. Um, you know what? Let's check out their uh, website here. I like what I see. We're uh, checking it out earlier, but uh, yeah, we're looking at uh, their roadmap here. This is what we were talking about. They want to. They're not trying to build their own metaverse. They're going to purchase land in an existing Cardano metaverse. I think it's bullish that they say that because I, when you, when I see a project that says, oh, we're going to build a metaverse, I'm telling you, be, I'm working with developers, that is extremely difficult and it is a long road. Look at, look at for, for example, look at Sandbox. Sandbox is an old project. They're just now releasing the alpha stages of their yeah. metaverse. It's Eighty percent will probably not make it. That twenty percent, yeah, you yeah. know, like so. Yeah, I think probably Pavia. It, they'll probably buy Pavia. Yeah, I would think. I guess a little Boss Planet or Boss Planet. Maybe maybe some Clay Nation. Could be Clay Nation. Maybe Sonic. I don't know. So uh, yeah, I, I can see them working. You know, with some uh, stronger teams with this. Uh, they're gonna do some merch. I think the merch is gonna look phenomenal. <laughs> that guy is angry. He don't. Hey, little banana, banana there. What are they? What is this Mario Kart? Uh, so yeah, I think the merch is gonna look cool because a devil on a hoodie, it's gonna look pretty awesome. You know, put it on a little T-shirt. Uh, then eventually, you know, they're gonna do a stake pool giveaway. Stake pool that probably means uh, rewards for the holders. You know? I mean, because you get Cardano back from staking, who are you gonna give it to? You know, you either put it in your treasury or you're gonna give it back to the people. So I can see them, uh, you know, maybe giving it back to the people. But again. The common denominator for what we're talking about is the art is phenomenal. Yeah, this I, I haven't. I'm, I'm very selective with projects that I'm bullish on. I'm pretty bullish on this project for sure. This is nuts. Yeah. So they got some one of ones. Um, they got a bunch. Check out their Discord. Go to their Discord. Nonfungibledevils.com. It's NF Devils on Twitter. All right. The next one we got a lot of comments. You know, I put out that tweet yesterday. You know, what do you want us to talk about? We're talking about this chains of war. This is only 2,400. I expect this number to, you know, shoot up pretty high, maybe double by the end of the week here. Because what they're putting out is just nuts. I don't want to uh, turn up too loud here, but look at this trailer, man. This is, you know, we were talking about, what does this remind you of? Instantly, it reminded me of World of Warcraft. Mixed with, if when you read down a little bit more, mixed with a little bit of um, Fellowship of the Rings mm -hmm. movies. Because it has several different races. And it's got four different races. You got the elves, you got the orcs, you got some the humans, and I think there's another one. Yeah, you got like the the futuristic. But first look at their city, uh, human territory. This is looking super awesome as well. So, you know, we say 
not every team has the capability of building out, you know, a strong, robust game, strong, robust game system. But I think Chains of War is one of those teams that can maybe pull this off because look at that art. That's man. And not only, you know, he brought up those races. We're seeing that on the uh, on the website here. Species. So go to chainsofwar.io. Go to species here. What are the, okay, we got some Elvi. Elve. So we got elves. Humans. humans. I'm saying orc and then. Yeah, yeah. Like the Yurikai from uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so we got the orc-ish, I'm guessing, this guy. And then we got these guys. This is kind of like the futuristic tech. Protoss, if you played StarCraft. You know, maybe kind of like a Halo Arbiter type of vibe here. Uh, so pretty cool story, Golly, pretty man. cool setup with the four races. I mean, again, man, just definitely World of Warcraft vibes, and I'm liking what I'm seeing here. here. Here's something to say. So, and I think you you have the same feelings. When we first got into the card on NFT space, we were, we were both kind of saying, like, ah, the art, man, it's just kind of lax a little bit. These projects are stepping the game up on the art on the card on a blockchain for sure. Yeah, and you know when it comes to a metaverse, we've seen some metaverse maps. Most of them are just green or blue. Like here's grass, here's water. You know, like not really fleshed out that well. But look at this, man. This is like a full fledged, built out. You know, map. Look, it looks like we got little desert areas, little urban city, like a sand city. You know, Egypt, uh, Morocco type vibe. We got some, maybe some tundra going on. Yeah, you know, it looks where like are the we're races? looking at a globe over here. You know, it looks it's very detailed. Um, it's nice. Yeah, really strong, nice. real strong. Uh, we keep looking at their web map here. You know, 3D base, large fantasy world, story driven. I got the male and the female. They got a thousand plus unique trait. That's nuts. For Cardano, you'll see something where they only have five shirts. You know, you see the same thing coming out of their or crown. the wheat. There's that one product I can't remember the name, but the wheat <laughs> coming out of the mouth. Everybody's got one. Yeah. We all have the wheat coming out. So a thousand unique traits. I think they're all gonna look. You know. Kind of different, you know, kind of dissimilar here. Ooh, female. I didn't even think about female orc. Yeah, kind of hot. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. You read my mind there. Hey, kind of hot. You know? okay. Hey, I'm going to kick her out, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, so what is Chains of War? You know, look, building Neo Fantasy World on the uh, Cardano blockchain, uh, shaped by historical events, cultural complexity, social structures. So they built out this whole journey, man, this whole world, this whole everything. So when is it the 29th? Jump in, yes. Eight days away. Whitelist. Eight or, nine, eight or seven. Join days away. their Discord. Get in the Discord. Uh, all of them are going to be unique. Rarity based on the uniqueness of a variety of characters and traits. Gear. So that means rare gear, rare weapons, gaming stats. So I like that. I like what I'm seeing here. Uh, hey, token. We're talking about the playbook here. You know. Gear so token. this is a, a team that's going to have people excited for a long time here and. I, I really could see this being just kind of the, the MMO of Cardano, maybe the MMO of crypto, period. Yeah, if this plays out like this roadmap, this website says it's going to play out, I can see this being a juggernaut in the blockchain space for sure, for gaming. You know what I find very bullish that we really never see? They actually have legal and licensing on their uh, on their team here. That means so, they've, they've done their due diligence and they're serious. And nothing against teams where it's just two college dudes in a dorm. That's cool, you know, but I feel a little bit better now that I know, like, hey, we got lawyers. You know, we got, like, people in suits, you know. And, look, there's nothing wrong, you know, dressing like Sam Bankman. But uh, this is a team I, I see being pretty successful. Look out for Chains of War. Definitely join uh, their, their Twitter here. 2400 get in early get in on this whitelist while you can but all right uh final project we're just going to go over it real quick because they definitely don't need any help uh hyping themselves up here but overexposed this is some of the best art we've seen pretty much period this is Jeez. just looking nuts so go so. back up to that one look at that yeah this is nuts golly it's crazy. Yeah, even the, just the little things, like the little radar on top of yeah. that little bird on the shoulder. So I, th I think they're all, like, handcrafted uh, with the digital art. So this mm. one's nuts, you know. Some of this is just insane. So uh, we're looking at the Genesis uh, drop. Uh, this would allow you to mint. I think they did the snapshot. These were moving up. These were about 2,500. I, I believe they did the snapshot, if I'm not mistaken. So people, yeah, you can see it here. They were selling, you know, the – the court, the floor quickly went up to about 2,400. I think the snapshot happened. You saw people paper hand, got as low as 850, and then that was it. People held on to it. 
Seven hundred wallets for a thousand items. This is going to be a hot drop. Get spread. in on this one too. But uh, yeah, three hot drops coming soon. Looks like this is a pre mint on the twenty sixth. Uh, so the people that had this get in on the twenty sixth. Everybody else on the twenty seventh. Uh, then we got Chains of War coming in pretty early as well. Let's look here on the 29th. But first, we got the Devils. Devils 23rd. on the 23rd. So check out these three drops, man. Are you excited? Super excited, man. We haven't seen art like this in a quite some time. Cardano, we're stepping it up. That's all we got. And make sure you're liking the video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. 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 Hit that sub button.